What's up everybody? It's your guy Michael Joseph coming back with another video and this time I've got a guest. It's my beautiful girlfriend, Oakley. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. I just thought it'd be really cool um, because I get a lot of questions and comments about uh, really it's like what do people think, right? And yeah. We don't, I, I, I don't really believe that we really care what other people think. I think we care about our people, your girlfriend, your spouse, your kids, people at work, uh, people in your community, all that stuff. And so what better person than like my person to just ask some just straight up questions and get some real answers. I, this isn't scripted, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to, I don't know what's going to happen here, but. Uh, I'm excited to just have a conversation and just talk about hair and life and things. And like what I thought when you got your hair system in and all the things. That's the perfect place yeah. to start. Yeah, it is. This, we're starting <laughs> right now. And I might have a very different view than maybe other women, but I don't really I don't, think so. Yeah, probably not. So yeah. what was your, what was, let's, let's go back pre-hair system. What did you, so I shaved my head. Um, we'll probably put a picture in here so you can see it. Um, but I shaved my head for a long time, like nine years, but the time that you knew me without a hair system, what were your thoughts about my bald head? I liked it. I liked you. I never bothered me. Like, well, I was like, you know, I've, I never really dated anybody that was bald before. And I was just like, this is different. I just like to fill your head all the time. <laughs> Which was nice. <laughs> it was nice. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, it didn't ever bother me. So yeah. I don't know. I just liked you and. You know, I don't really care how your hair looks. So that's nice. Yeah. That's a nice thing. And oh, I would imagine, yeah. do you think other ladies, let's say lady-man relationship, do you think other ladies probably, you know, if they're in a relationship with somebody, that they probably think something similar to that? I mean, you'd like to think so, right? right? Yeah. they're in a relationship. I would say more often than not, like, you, you're dating someone because you like who they are and you're attracted to them and you like that person for how they look and who they are. Yeah. And I think with time, it's like, it just grows more and more if you're in a good relationship, of course. Sure. So I would imagine that's also true for like extended family, close family, you know, they love you as a person. Yeah. They don't care um, about how you look. Really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, what do you think, uh, when I started talking about hair systems, what were some of the thoughts that you had? Just straight up, Honest thoughts. Okay. What did you think? I'm going to be different probably than like a lot of the other people I might be. I'd probably not. Actually. Probably not, right? Yeah. Um, I was just excited for you because I have hair extensions. And so I know for me, like it gives me a lot of confidence. And so when I heard that you could do that and I saw the videos with other guys with their hair systems, I was like, that actually looks really good. Um, and so I don't know. I wasn't, a, I was actually just excited for you. I really was. Pretty cool. Yeah, I was just like, oh, he's going to have hair again. It'll be cool. <laughs> I, I was kind of like a little worried about how you were going to look with hair because I'd gotten so used to bald you. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so when you when I first saw you with hair, I was like, this is weird. Yeah, it's different. It was weird. Yeah. Like, because I just, you get so used to how somebody looks, especially because we've been together like a year and a half at that point. And so you come to my house and I'm like, who's this person? <laughs> and so, but the thing I really kind of liked was just you held yourself more confidently. Ooh, yeah, so that's, that's probably the biggest thing. See, I want to touch on that for a second because I've, one, I do feel that. Yeah. Um, but two, I hear that from some of the other guys that I talk to that have hair systems. They're like, dude, why didn't I do this years ago? And I'm like, I, yeah, nobody talks about that stuff. Nobody does. You know, yeah. it's just... A visual thing for most people because we're using a visual platform yep. right Instagram Facebook YouTube it's all visual but we're not talking about what does it feel like yeah totally. as, as a person and so you have hair extensions and you've yep. had confidence because of that yeah and the overwhelming feedback that I get from people with hair systems they have a lot more confidence I feel it totally I totally feel it uh, okay. All right. Okay. So yeah. this is interesting. This is all really good. Um, <laughs> we didn't. I did. I should have asked you some of these questions before, so I would be. It's prepared. probably better that you didn't ask me. No, it's good. It's yeah. Good. This is live. See, this is just real. Yeah. Um, okay. So now it's been a few months. I think it was early April when I first 
or middle of or middle. Uh, I think it was this year. That you I got started. it in April. Yeah, it was in I remember. April. Mm-hmm. So it was about mid-April, late April. Gosh, so sit. you had a big <laughs> life-changing. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm we could just keep. Out. No, yeah. don't do that. I'm okay. All of this out. Well, in April, he decided to. <laughs> I'll say it. Yeah. Get his hair done. I'll say it. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> so mid April of this year, uh, it's now mid September almost, um, is when I first got my hair system. I was super excited, slapped it on. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the months since. Okay. So that was earlier this year. Now we're a few months down the road. What are your thoughts overall now? Oh gosh, um, I don't. I don't really notice it. Um, I do notice more than anything. Again, like I said, just that you feel a lot more confident. Even now, like we go places and you're like, do you just like hold yourself differently? Um, like you've always been a really confident guy. That's something that really drew me to you in the first place. Um, and so I think that just adding that to you just made you like that much more to yourself which honestly was more attractive to me. So it's just like guys, like guys like women when we're more confident, it's the same thing. Um, I would say if you want really honesty, sometimes I see like, only cause I know, but like I'll see his mark right here, like where it goes, only the first day and then it's like you can't tell after that. Right. That's all I notice. I don't know what that means, so I don't know how to <laughs> respond to it. Okay, it's just like, you know how you can see like where it comes down in the front? The hairline. Yeah, the hairline. So like that's the only thing like I started to notice because like I know that it's not right. real hair. Yeah, yeah. I think I think yeah. hair system wearers and people in their life, uh, they see, they know all those things. Yeah. Um, and it's so funny because uh, a lot of us, we talk about how as the person wearing the hair, we can see all the imperfections. We can feel a little bump here. We can feel a little thing there. Um, whereas nobody else knows that. Yeah. Um, which is really interesting um, because if we look at this, like if this, if we're really talking about our relationship and I'm only getting feedback from one person that knows that I wear a hair system, maybe you tell people, maybe you don't. Um, I would be hyper sensitive to that feedback. I would be thinking, holy crap, everybody knows then, you know, or, uh, this looks gross or whatever, because this is the one piece of feedback. Um, but the other side of that coin, that other side is that, uh, the feedback that I've also gotten, even as recently as, uh, yesterday with your mom, Mm -hmm. her mom saw me for the first time with a hair system. And she was like, I had no idea. Like, it just looked like you grew your hair out Yeah. because guess what they're not looking at. They're not looking at the hairline. They're not looking at the blend, they're not looking at any of those details. They just they just see with hair. Totally. And so, um, I, so I wanna make that, that distinction because we, you, your people are gonna be hyper aware of those things, right? Um, and, and, and that's a good thing. Like we can get so dialed into the hairline and all the details, which is good, uh, nothing wrong with that. But nobody else knows that. Right. Unless you tell them. And that's the cool thing. Very like true. If, if you're not open with it, that's totally fine. If you are open it with it, that's totally cool too. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts? Yeah, actually yeah. I do. Okay. I was just thinking while you're saying that. So it's like, okay, for females, I'm like, we have so many things to kind of like, for back of, lack of a better word, like make us almost like fake. <laughs> <laughs> just true. So it's like, but like I think about it, you know, I have my eyelashes, I have my makeup, I have my extensions and men don't have that things. And it's kind of, it's kind of unfair. You know, thank you. It's really unfair, like, because that's like, you know, women are so beautiful and men are too. They're ha- trash. Handsome. <laughs> men are trash looking, but we don't have the makeup, we don't have the nails, we don't. Do yeah. The, well, some of us, right? Right. But most men probably don't have extensions. Right. Eyelashes, makeup, eyebrows. Yeah. Fillers, injections. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, Botox. Botox. Uh, nails did. Nails did. Hair did. What else? I mean, Everything. Tans, like all those things. All the things. Spray tans. It's just me. Yes. And I roll out of bed yeah. as a trash human. <laughs> as a yeah. trash human man. And I got nothing. No cover ups. It's just, it's really not fair. Uh, men versus women. So I think it's awesome. Like, I think when women first started getting hair extensions, like, I was kind of looked down upon. Mm. Like, it was almost like, oh, is your hair real? Uh, and now I just, if, anytime anybody asks me, I'm like, oh, it's super fake. Thanks. You know, because it, it is. 
but it doesn't bother me. Like it's very socially acceptable sure. that a woman has fake hair. And I think it's amazing that men have this. Like when when we see guys with like balding spots all the time, mm, we're like, yeah. I'm always like, babe, he needs a hair system. Yeah. And he probably doesn't even know it exists. But no, like, no it's cool. so cool that it does exist. Yeah. And I think it's going to be really cool when it's more socially acceptable for men. Because what I did notice is that, you know, people are like, oh, he has a hair system or a wig or something like that. And I do feel like men are more criticized for oh, yeah. kind of taking care of themselves, which is really ridiculous. Yeah. But that's something I actually really like about you is that you do take time to look your best and feel your best. For sure. Well, and, and for some people, and I'll, I know this for myself, some people, they will take the action, let's say getting a hair system, and then their confidence improves. Or it's because their confidence improves that they fill in the blanks, you know, hair system, go to the gym more, eat better, d you know, do those types of things. And it's really interesting. Yeah. Um, and yes, I think still a lot of people equate a hair system to like the old wigs that just flop on your head <laughs> and can like flap in the wind and then it falls, <laughs> it slips off your head and like yeah. it's super embarrassing. Nobody wants that. It's true. These are very different than that. But um, it's the same idea. It's like, well, you're still putting hair on your head. And so it, that stigma exists. It's out there. But let me ask you this, just from your perspective, um, just being somebody that doesn't wear a hair system, but uh, do you think that stigma will come around, like hair extensions or any other augmentation, do you think that stigma will go away? Oh, 100%. I do. Like, and even for me, I'm, I'm an advocate for it. Like anybody who has kind of made fun of him behind his back. Sorry, I told you about it. But it's it like hurt my feelings. <laughs> but it's like I always stick up for you because I'm like, yeah, well you also have your lips done and you also have hair extensions and you also have eyelash extensions. So, why are you better than him? Yeah, so which people just go ahead and tell the audience exactly <laughs> no. who these people are. I don't care, but I'd like you to tell everyone their name. Man. Um just kidding. Uh, but see, this is this is the real stuff, you guys. Yep. Like, if you have a girlfriend, a wife, a person that you're, you know, talking to, like whatever, and they know, well, guess what? Their friends are also talking and yeah. doing their 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 thing, whatever they do. Um, but this is kind of part of the deal, okay? If I were if I weren't a confident person, that would hurt my feelings, and I'd be I'd feel some sort of way, and I would want to know which friends, and, <laughs> uh, you know, and I I would, but you can tell me later, and then. Um, <laughs> And then I'd want, and then like what all the thoughts that come from that, right? But here's the coolest part, at least from my perspective, wearing hair and now talking, you know, at least half a year to people that wear hair systems, doing a ton of research, looking at all the products and programs out there, um, looking at all the other kinds of solutions out there, hair transplants, obviously shaving your head, um, all these other things. Uh, what I can tell you is that all of the research, all of the stuff that I that I did prior to hitting the the complete order button was uh, preparing me to be confident enough to wear the thing in the first place. Yeah. And so the process that you go through, even buying your first ever system and the adhesives and all the stuff that goes with that, I mean, you can't really do that until you reach a certain confidence level. Yeah. And so the neatest thing is that if you're new or you, you're contemplating or something like that, uh, or even if you've been wearing for a while, just hoping that it will raise your confidence, going through and being part of communities like this where we just put out content just because we want you to feel like this is, we want to normalize this so that your confidence level can increase. Yeah. So, hey, maybe you are dating some gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous model woman. You're so sweet. <laughs> I'm getting points on camera, points on camera. This it's is true. documented. <laughs> um, forever and so uh, but that confidence level level goes up and so it doesn't matter what other people think no. because guess what it's somebody that is in a healthy state that's confident enough they love that for other people I love oh, yeah. when she gets her hair done her nails done go get a tan or whatever but I, like I don't get a tan but it's not it doesn't matter right I don't I wouldn't get a tan but she's getting tan because she loves it and it makes her feel good yep. somebody that's not in that state would have an issue with her getting a tan it's very true, yeah. An issue with her getting hair extensions. Which right. I love her hair extensions. Yeah. You know, um, that that's the thing. And so going through this process and we now see it from the other side, it's like that can't really hurt my feelings. It hurts it hurts me to know that other people out there aren't feeling maybe strong enough in their in their own lives to be happy for somebody else. That's 
that's the truth. That's so true, yeah. The craziest part with this whole thing, and, I, and I, I'll stop talking, is that um, for you new hair system wearers that are hyper aware of your hairline and like bad hair days and you know, like all those little details, it doesn't really matter. I doubt nobody even notices it. No, they can't, they almost yeah. can't notice. It's so crazy. If you never would have told me, like if I didn't know he was bald before, I probably really wouldn't even notice. Like, because most people don't even know it's a thing. That's where it's an advantage for you. Yeah. Because people don't know it's out it's there. underground still. It really is totally underground. And I think it's just a matter of time before men have more of these resources that have been available to women for years. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because I know, like, it's like what you were saying, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do. Somebody's going to have an opinion about it. You know, other women have opinions about the fact that I wear makeup and eyelashes and hair extensions. But... At the end of the day, I don't really care because it's for me. It's not for other people. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And you know, that's the thing. Like people are going to have an opinion whether you do it or you don't do it. Oh my gosh. 100%. So why don't you just do the thing that you want to do? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? I don't know what my daughter's going to think. She even like, it's so funny. She's like, dad, I like you without hair. And I'm like, <laughs> I understand, but I like this. So I'm going to keep doing it. But then she gets used it. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She gets used to it. And she doesn't even think about it. You know, we know hang out, watch movies and do stuff and she it could she she doesn't think twice about it. So uh, but anyway guys that's I just wanted to get my partner's feedback just just understand that I feel like a lot of what you shared is universal. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people share those thoughts, which is why I knew that this needed to happen. So totally. I'll tell you what, if you have uh, any questions, comments, whatever, drop them below. And uh, we, I'm going to say this, yeah. we will answer. So if you have totally. questions for Oakley, make sure you use her name in the comments and I'll pass on the, the question to her because it's on my account. Uh, and if you have questions for me, make sure to drop those below and, uh, and we'll answer. We just want to make sure that this is actually useful, uh, resourceful for you uh, moving forward, not just in hair, but maybe in relationships or um, you know, maybe other facet of just being human or a man or a woman or... Uh, you know, something like that. Totally. Yeah. So, yeah. Any final words? I support the hair systems. Boom. <laughs> I support all of them. I think it's great. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. I don't think anybody else has done an interview like this. Really? Ever. Cool. Like, I don't think ever. Really? Actually, I've, actually I mean, simple. I haven't seen it. So, uh, this is a very unique kind of content. Oh. And so, I appreciate you sharing. Of course. I was like, is it going to come off when we go boating? And it didn't. No. It's really cool. Yeah, not even not even a little, not even close. No, so I didn't cool. think about it. Even the gym time and you get real oh, sweaty. Oh yeah, yeah, I get real sweaty. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of sweat. It's true. Um and yeah, it's just fine. It's yeah. crazy. It's built really for life. Cool. That's what it is. So guys and gals, that's it for now. We'll uh catch you next time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay. Bye. laughs> that was cool.